know that the new stream <laughs> is now up. Got it on Wi-Fi now. <clears throat> Hopefully, hey, if this is not appearing in the old stream placeholder, if you could let people know that I had to start it a new one. It was showing that I was still streaming, but yeah, that was stupid. I'm blaming Dakota. <laughs> what time is it anyway? It's about not quite 1.30. That's not bad. Once we get this room done, the rest of them are easy. Yeah, I'm just waiting for more people to get in and then we can like get back into the actual cleaning again. We've gotten, Jason's got um, all the kitchen done except for like one and a half load of dishes. And then we save the floors to last. And then basically all we have to do is straighten up the living room, vacuum, do the bathroom real quick. And then the downstairs is easy. I mean, I cleaned it while Jason just looked into this camera and talked. <laughs> well, I did all the work. All of it. Oh, all yeah. me. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Yeah, the, the stream went down, and then I had to restart it. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Because I didn't have it on Wi-Fi, and then I switched over to Wi-Fi after it ended, and even that didn't fix it. So I think it was a YouTube connection issue. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. There's Daniel. Hi. <laughs> Hope everyone's staying inside, staying cool. Yeah, that was nasty. Not, not uh, that was like super nasty. That Sweet. From, that was from Friday. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, God. Um, Teresa may be coming back on. Okay. Yay. So. Cool. Yeah, if you guys have um, access to the old chat, if you could let people know that we're in here. I'm, I've got um, checks from the places they were cleaning, so I'm like getting them all in order off camera so you can't see bank account information. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. You guys be safe. Yep, later. See you again. All right, let me push this back around. I'll let you see Jason doing Jason things. Oh, God, I'm tripping on crap. Yeah, for those of you who are just coming in, we had another live going. 
where we had like 1,200 people in here. <laughs> and then the live just ended because YouTube was like, no, nah, I don't think you really need one. So we had to start a new one. Um, and the whole idea of this is we're just kind of doing a live clean and a live hangout. Hopefully people get back in here again. We went from 1,200 down to 300 just because of that one hiccup. How many pets do we have? We have one dog, three cats, and about a dozen fish. I am going to replace that stupid ceiling fan at one point. It's so terrible. Awful. Actually, all of our ceiling fans, except for my office one, because that one matches my desk. Oh, the mural in the garage. Um, one second. Uh, Mrs. Jana, you are now a moderator. Um, I just painted that because I got bored. That's I had a pool table out there at one point, so I just wanted something to make it kind of personal and fun. So I painted all that stuff just to do it. Sorry, I saw this in the background. It was driving me crazy. Oh, oops, and this one. Oh man, my back and my shoulder are sucking so much. I have a lot of interests. That's actually a part of my autism. I learn things that I'm interested in, and then I go absolutely obsessive crazy with them. And then um, I get bored with them and move on to something else. <laughs> Cynthia, you are now a moderator too. Uh, it's an intercom and radio combined. It's got AM, FM radio, and then it's got intercoms that go to all the other rooms in the house. Let me switch this back around because Jay's going to finish cleaning the kitchen, and then we're going to bust out the other rooms. The intercoms work like intermittently, so we haven't really used them. We have dots set up. When the kids were here, we had dots set up in all the rooms, so we could just be like, announce that dinner's ready. What floor polish did you use in your floor video? Howard Feed and Wax. And that's actually in the title. Does 
cooking stuff going? <laughs> um, if you've got fruit flies in your kitchen when it's already clean, it's almost always coming out of a um, uh, garbage disposal or the sink drain itself. Pour vinegar down there or um, boiling water will do it too. Cheese grater and your a uh, cheese grater goes down in one of those cabinets and then the uh, grill stuff goes up in the top of the pantry like the top shelf no the pantry that's where the food is oh gotcha Sorry. Sorry. Emily's channel hasn't started rolling yet, but it's called Midwest Magic Crafting. It exists, she just hasn't used it yet. It's got videos of the cats and stuff on it right now. Yeah, I'll end up giving a link to Emily soon on a video or and on the community tab and all that. Um, I'll just copy and paste her stuff. Yeah, I'm sneak vaping behind the camera right now. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I'll be linking Jason's too. Yeah, she probably doesn't have enough on there to have it come up in a search. I'll, I'll link it. Now, I'm that's another part of my autism is that once I find a flavor I like, I stick with it. Um, so this one's Blueberry Steezy, something like that. They always have goofy names, but it's that. And then I, I only vape that. I'm very weird when it comes to flavors, so like... I'll get snack hungry and I'll be like, uh, man, I'm hungry for chocolate. And Emily will say, there's some muffins up there. And I'll be like, no, I mean like a piece of chocolate. Or I'll be like, last night I was hungry for ice cream. And she's like, well, there's cheesecake up there. And I'm like, well, I don't want cheesecake. I want ice cream. Specifically, I want butter pecan ice cream, exactly one half of a half gallon tub. <laughs> so I'm very specific on my snacks. I never like the idea of something sweet. I want something specifically sweet. So even if like I'm hungry for fruit, it won't be like, hey, I'm hungry for fruit. I'm hungry for nectarines or exactly uh, purple seedless grapes or plums. Do you know what it's almost time for, Mac? Mm -hmm. It's Persimmons. almost time for holiday grapes. Oh, yeah. And persimmons. Yeah, I guess persimmons. We got a few months on those. But. Yeah. Yeah, we went from 1,200 down to 414 on viewers awesome. because of that stupid Did live stream in. Freeze? Yeah, it just, it just froze. I still could see the chat and everything coming up, mm -hmm. and it was still showing me that I was streaming. Oh. But it wasn't broadcasting on their end. Um, Amberly, um, liquid gold is becoming harder and harder to find. I can barely find it anymore. In fact, haven't found it in a while. When we get our resale license, I'm going to buy it wholesale and start selling it myself. Got 
thinking this is your phone for some reason. You know, your phone, your phone. Oh, I guess I could plug that back in. Oh. Yeah, I like it better than Orange Glow. What we've been using is Old English, and we kind of like that better than Liquid Gold. You have to be careful with Old English, though. I accidentally bought a bunch of bottles that were uh, Old English scratch cover rather than wood polish, and it's got stain in it. So you have to be careful which one you get. Hey, speaking of, I actually found <laughs> one of the uh, scratch cover ones yeah. in my car, like just deep in my car. Liquid gold wasn't hard to find, but every time they came out with a new shipment, I'd buy them all. And then I just, I haven't seen them with a new shipment in ages. Uh, somebody asked about where I find Barkeeper's Friend. I get that anywhere. Dollar General, Walmart, they carry it everywhere around here. Vinyl planks on flooring, probably just a Bona that's meant for vinyl. Uh, or the, the Bona that's not meant for hardwood. If you don't have that, then I'd say Lysol, and then um, do a rinse mop after that with like a, a mop that doesn't have soap in it, but is strained out as much as you can wring it out. Carpet stains, I use a Bissell Pet Pro, I think is what it's called. It's expensive for a carpet cleaner, or for a home carpet cleaner. It's, what, three or four hundred bucks, something like that. Yeah. But it's really, really good. A <laughs> leg hat. I totally forgot about <laughs> leg hat. Also, Laurie, you're also a moderator now. Jana, are you in Spacer Laser friends, partners? Spacer Laser is pretty nice. I've seen them pop up a few times on here. By your chin, fold it inward on both sides, put your hand here and let it drop. It's the hotel fold. It's the way I make everybody fold their stuff in the company. We will have been married 11 years on Wednesday. Wednesday is our anniversary. It's um, painted, but it wasn't really a material that was meant to be painted. So we're going to eventually, I want to take all that stuff off and do an actual backsplash on the, above the stove. Thanks, Mima. Uh, a couple people have asked about that calcium and lime buildup on toilets. There's two different types of toilet bowl cleaner. One is like Clorox with bleach, and it's always uh, blue or green. The other one is a pink one, and they dye those pink because they're made with acid. An acid-based toilet cleaner will take that stuff off. If you can't find acid-based toilet cleaner, um, get a bottle of CLR and pour it into your toilet and mix it up thoroughly, but make sure that it goes up to touch the ring because that stuff's so thin it won't stick.
That's what I used for cleaning out our fridge recently was APC and Mr. Clean. I usually just flex at it and it just shoots off. But the only problem with that is if you flex hard enough and it shoots off too fast, it can break your toilet. Because they, they basically the lime scale turns into ammunition. You said foaming balls. <laughs> 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 foaming balls are pretty cool. <laughs> Beavis wouldn't know. <laughs> hey, shut up, butthead. <clears throat> <laughs> My balls are awesome. Jason's getting paid. He's fine. Oh yeah, don't, nope. Yeah, those don't work anymore. In fact, they're like... Oh, sorry, I was trying to turn the light yeah. on. It's in the zone for a second. While Jason's doing that, I want to show you how I make my perfect tea. And bring you over here. All right, ready for this? It's going to be exciting. Pure hot water. A heaping half cup. And then another heaping half cup of sugar. Five Lipton tea bags. And then tie them together. Dissolve the sugar. And we let that sit until to the touch that goes cold. So maybe an hour. And then all we do is drain the tea bags out and squeeze them and then fill the rest of it with cold water. And it makes awesome tea. Jason's stove cleaning job. <laughs> <laughs> I make mine just semi-sweetened. My mom's was way too sweet. And now whenever we crank that back up to its normal brightness, mine is also going to go. Let me turn all my stuff in here. Alexa, turn off the office. Oh. Yeah, I do it. Okay, we're going to take a break for a second. We're not going to turn off the live. I'm just going to bring this over to the couch so me and Jason can sit down and BS with you guys. That stands for bull shirt. And then uh, we're going to jump into overdrive and clean the rest of this house. By we, I mean Jason. <laughs> ah, get off me. Get off me. Turn you guys around and 
flip the camera off. Flip. Flip. Okay. Okay, grab that. This is turning into an ordeal. Ha! Come down to my level, son. Dakota's doing good. Her legs are not doing great, though. She's had a little issues here and there, but... Oh, yeah. <coughs> Let me pull this down a little bit more. Jason's coughing because he eats black tar heroin. He doesn't even do it. He just eats it, and it makes him cough. <laughs> so we can actually get in the same frame. All right, break time. I am exhausted from doing all that work. <laughs> Sneak good. vape. Hello. <laughs> it is a Coca-Cola. Can we plug that in? I don't know where our things went over here. I think that one of them, do you want to plug it into this thing? No, that's not a fast charger. I just need to plug this in and then I needed to plug my vape in at some point. The other one should be in there. Like, there is one plugged into that. Okay, I'm all plugged in. Like everything I use day to day needs charging. Oh. <laughs> hey, beans. What's up, man? Come here, so you can see everybody. Come here. Come here. Good kitty. Stay down on the floor. Good <laughs> kitty. Beans. Beans. He did a quiet meow. <laughs> Come here. No, don't, don't dodge me. There you go. Now come here. Oh God, I know. There you go. Big beans. What's going, buddy? Ow! 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 <laughs> I have I have three total subscribers of my YouTube channel from this. Nice. Stream. Thank you. <laughs> Eventually, I'll be coming to Wisconsin. Event, but I'm eventually going to be going to like every state to clean. But I will be announcing that on the community section and on videos. So it'll be like a thing where it'll be, hey, we're going to be in Ann Arbor, Michigan for the week of X to Y. And anything around that area will set up cleanings and then knock them out and then go to the next town. You know, this week we're going to be in uh, Butt Thump Knuckle, Wisconsin. <laughs> What's up, Julie? Oh, yeah, my back is super shot. It was, uh, I cleaned the garage, then forgot that I cleaned the garage. And so, um, the, the next day I was like, why am I so sore? I didn't even do anything. And it was like, oh no, you... You did like everything, like you did the opposite of nothing. And then we did a giant cookout and I was on my feet all day and that didn't help. And so my back is just wrecked. What's up, beans?
<laughs> Traveling kitty, aren't you? You better get off of my leg. <laughs> I was going to do a live during that cookout, but then it was kind of like, uh, like I didn't want to just keep inserting all my family members into my stuff. So I kind of gave it a break for that day. It gets to the point where you film too much and you're like, okay, you got to put the phone away. Yeah. So that turquoise is actually, I said earlier, I was going to show you guys and then I forgot is that's the accent wall and then that's another accent wall and notice how like the tops and stuff are white all the trim work and then back behind me that is all white with uh, turquoise accents on the baseboards and trim and all that stuff so it does like a positive negative sort of thing <laughs> that's not for you beans Beans, no, that's a, got electricity in it. <laughs> Thank you. I never thought we'd hit 250 subscribers, let alone 250,000. Kathleen, the funny thing is we had a, another live and it just stopped in the middle, but we had over 1,200 people in here. I think we even reached th like 1,300 at one point. And then the live just decided like, nah, you don't need to be live anymore. So we had to start another one because I couldn't get back into it. And then we dropped from 13 or 1,400 down to uh, 559 currently. So we we dropped quite a bit, like like 66% of our audience ended up having to go that's her cat too that's her old cat rufus doing <laughs> Get your tail out of my face Adrian has a few <laughs> yeah that was a mistake I took Adrian to get her first tattoo uh, right short, like a week after her 18th birthday, and she, uh, she was kind of scared, and she, it was painful, and so I was like, that's all right, and then she had like three more within the next two weeks, <laughs> and I was like, girl, you gotta slow down. <laughs> Kathy, if you're using homemade stuff on a commercial cleaning, then I would just, I would look up more research on cleaning. You, you shouldn't be using homemade stuff on commercial cleaning at all. You're putting yourself at risk of a lawsuit if you're making your own stuff.
You're right at six feet, aren't you? Somewhere. I am, um, yeah, six foot even. And the cookout was awesome. It was very awesome. Uh, Mom told me that that was the best cheesecake she's ever had in her life. Yeah, Lydia was, she almost stole my my piece. If your dad doesn't eat his soon, I'm going to eat it because that's so good. <laughs> I can just make another one. Yeah, it's amazing. Holy okay. crap. We're answering questions, and I'm just waiting for some to come in. This is more of like a hangout. And then we're actually taking a break, Coffee Boy. We've been cleaning for about two hours now. So we're just doing a, a break and reading people's comments and stuff. Tattoos are definitely expensive in America. Do I like living in a small town? Yes, that is definitely my preferred living area. <laughs> I just use the product directly. There's no, not really a need to rinse, but if you follow it up with APC, that, that kind of acts as its own rinse. Beans quit. That's my pants. He is not. Jason just got engaged. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how how much does Beans weigh? Have, has he been weighed? Um, I think he was. At, he's got to be like fifteen, maybe less than that, because Frankie's seventeen and he's fatter. Yeah, so Beans has got to be somewhere between like thirteen and fifteen pounds, something like that. He's mostly fur. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I will put Emily's um, link directly in um, the community section after this stream. I can't go get it right now because if I go get it, then it messes up the stream. I do refill the Clean Freak bottles, but I tend to just refill them with uh, just regular Mr. Clean that you buy in the gallon jug. Yeah, I was going to say, you just got bottles from me recently, and I've been using those got tired of accidentally spilling all over the place. Beans is a Maine Coon. <laughs> and part Labrador. <laughs> all lime should be cleaned with an acid-based um, cleaner. So like CLR, Lime Away. There's an acid-based toilet cleaner that's pink. Um, look on the ingredients to see if it's got acid in it. But that'll get rid of lime scale. He's purring like crazy down here. I don't dilute mine from the gallon jug, but most people do. The only reason I don't dilute mine is because um, we clean for a living and we need it to act quickly. But you can dilute it down and make it last much longer. It just takes a little more time to be effective. I don't use a brand on stove scrapers. I just get anything, literally anything that can hold a razor blade works. In fact, you don't even need one with a handle. You can just use a razor blade. Most of the people that I do free cleanings for do watch the videos. It's one of the reasons I don't allow people to be douchebags to them. I mean, even if they didn't, I still don't let them play the blame game and think like a child. Um, those people get banned automatic. But it's just like they're humans who have real human problems. <coughs> so I treat them that way on, on the actual videos and in the comments. We have a Pyrenees too. Um, that's what Dakota is. Great Pyrenees and probably a lab mix, probably. Um, but we just, the only thing you can do is just vacuum like crazy.
Yeah, so Jason's 24, Drew's 22, and Adrian is 18. That's right, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm terrible with numbers, so it's not like I forget my kids' ages. I just can't. It doesn't compute in my head. Colleen, hello. My music fluctuates from metal, everything from Slipknot to James Taylor, the Weepies to Faith No More, the Tupac to the Judds. Like, it, it bounces all over the place. Yeah, I've, uh, Blue, I've done that before, too, where I've had to do the math to figure out if I'm 48 or 49. Auntie M, thank you. Um, she says, hey, everyone, type in Emily MMC for her channel. Aw, thank you. I'm never forgiven the giraffes. Well, the first five I'm fine with, but the last one, you can suck it. <laughs> what was that? When I cleaned that level nine hoarder house, I found six giraffes and named them all, but the last one was an asshole, so I didn't. <laughs> he can F right off. <laughs> How about a beard? I cannot grow one. <laughs> Not very well. Yeah, um, Anna, as soon as she gets to 1,000 subscribers, she'll have access to live streams. And that's what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, promote her channel on a couple videos till she gets there. And then um, she'll be able to go live. Thank you, everybody. Rosalia, hello. He shows up with my face, or my place, I'll slap him in the neck, in all of his neck. The whole neck. <laughs> yeah, most of the videos that are on that channel right now, I was backing up off of my phone. Um, so they're, basically everything is just all like, actually I should go look to make sure, but there's a lot of cat videos. <laughs> what foods we serve at the cookout? I made about a dozen cheeseburgers. Um, 10 hot dogs, about a dozen brats, and then Emily made um, like 15 pinwheels, which are like a flank steak where you put a specific type of cheese on it and then spinach, and then you roll it up to where it's a tube, almost like a loaf, then you cut it this way, and then whenever you put the cuts over, it's shaped kind of like a cinnamon roll, and all the cheese and spinach and stuff melts together, and it's super good. One of my friends once called it meat sushi. <laughs> What kind of cheese? Um, Havarati, and I don't know if I am pronouncing this right. Gaier, Gaier. I support the Minnesota Vikings. Magumi, thank you. Do your cats do tricks? Beans is really good at laying there and having fur. <laughs> so you watch, check it out. Beans, lay there and have fur. Good kitty. Good kitty. Beans. Do nothing. Good kitty. Do a <laughs> Daniel dropped off his check from his uh, cleaning, and then he is going back home. Also, apologies for the cord, but I had to plug my phone in. Oh, yeah. I'm getting ready to take you back into the other room so we can cap off the cleaning. And then we're going to kick into high gear and get the rest of this done so Jason doesn't have to be here for 18 million hours. Daniel is Dave Grohl. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be traveling soon. For those who don't know, who didn't catch the first live stream that failed catastrophically, um, we are doing a collaboration with Clean With Barbie and A Beautiful Mess. And that'll be the first week of October, and then Business Insider is sending down a videographer to interview me 
and to uh, film some of the cleanup and they're going to do like a profile on, on Insider. Business Insider. I barely knew her. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Steamer horn. Oh no. Steamer horn. I got cold soda. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, we're going to bring you guys back in the kitchen so we can knock this stuff out so he's not having to be here all day. Uh, yeah. Or is that actually I've got that one in here, right? For hopefully. I was gonna say there was one right there that might have been yours. Yeah, I still got this one in here. Alright, now I've gotta put all the Yeah, I bought a 32-inch monitor for my new computer desk, and it was too big. So Emily now has a 4K 32-inch monitor on hers. <laughs> and I've got the old 4K monitor, which is fine because I like the old monitor. But. I've got a merch design in my brain, and I need a tablet to do it. Yes, we are going to attempt to do this every Monday. Uh, not the cleaning thing, but at a bare minimum, a live where just me and Jason and Emily hang out and do live broadcasts. All right, we're going to turn you guys around so you can see Jason wrapping up the kitchen. Because all he's basically had to do is put away the dishes. And then we won't worry about the floor until the very end. And then we will go into the living room and bust that out. So suck it. <laughs> yes, JK, that's one of my favorite yeah. shirts. Bird, we got birded. We just, oh, it's... Bird just hit our window. <laughs> what an idiot. You guys are stupid. God. <laughs> yeah, I leave all the stuff that I use in a hoarder house at the hoarder house. They said you're up to 64 subscribers so far. <laughs> I gotta get my vape. I had to watch some of the videos that I uploaded to make sure they were okay. I think they are all fine. My channel description is crafting and cats and cooking and knocking. Alright, where do you want the so I put the cutting board on here and then I use it as decoration. Let me point this down. When you got stuff that you're going to use and it's going to be out on the counter, use it as decoration. So I do it like this. You get the cleaning stuff off of here. I'll just throw them here for now. That there, that here, all this stuff on the side. Okay. Have a good night. It is uh, just a little bit after 2 p.m. here. Or it's 2, yeah, 2 08. once you get room in there again. Thank you, Zowie. Or Zoe, Zowie.
Yeah, we're cleaning uh, my house right now. Yeah, for those who didn't hear earlier, if you go to, if you search on YouTube for Emily, MMC, you should find her channel. It's called uh, Midwest Magic Crafting. We're trying to get her up to a thousand subscribers so that she can go live. 77. Wow. Yeah, it looks way better. That's what the channel looks like. Hey, what's up, Beans? Check out the new place. <laughs> Make sure no birds are Blueberry. <laughs> Okay, uh, kitchen's pretty much done. We're gonna bring you guys into the living room. And this should go fast. Uh, I'm gonna actually bring you guys around to the other side. So what the hell, get off me. Okay. Yeah, you're about to break a hundred already. Honey. You know what? Let's bring you guys even further. Imagine like trying to do knife trick with this goose stuff. <laughs> so the first thing I would do would be to unclutter that stuff over there in that pile. And oh, plug this in real quick. So things like yoga mat can go back here behind everything. This is garbage. I don't know why it's back here. That whole, it was pulling everything. Okay, Jay, if you could bring in that trash can, because we have some old goose ducks that need retired. No, the trash bag. Sorry, it's the trash can. Yeah. Okay. Frankie, Frank, do a flip. Ducks can stay. These can stay. Giant thing. Hey, yeah, I can stay. I got put into animal toys. All the rest of these can stay. And final goose duck. Okay. What's going on with your goose duck? <laughs> All right. Now, the only thing that we would need over here would be. We're going to need to probably swiffer the couch to get all the pet hair off of it. And then we can put this stuff back where it goes, vacuum the floor, and a quick dusting, and this room's done. The only thing that I want, um, and this will be an Emily thing, is the small piles of clutter don't need to be out. Yeah. They can be elsewhere. So other than that, this room's almost done. It's just a basic. So I'd go ahead and swiffer, 
then and while you're at it swiffer the couch oops sorry and then vacuum my giant 78 inch tv you don't vacuum suck it <laughs> you Ava, suck tv it was officially moved thursday nights pre-party indoors so i gotta do anything on thursday i have to set up i gotta I just go do music go be in music scrubbing bubbles is pretty awesome we used to use it, but it's got kind of a sulfury smell, so we stopped. Yeah, I was gonna say I haven't used that in a while. I'm really smell sensitive too, so there's like a lot of stuff that they use for cleaning that I don't necessarily use here because it'll give me a migraine. <laughs> Cindy said, uh, "Crazy the watching a family clean." Uh, their house is the highlight of my day, except Jason. He's the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the round mirror thing. We actually did this on purpose. We started looking, and we knew we had some round mirrors. And then Emily did um, this thing here as a craft. And so what we did was I was like, let's get some more round mirrors and we'll have you do phases of the moon on crafting. So this would be like the head of a comet. These would be the phases of a moon. And this would be full moon, quarter moon, half moon, quarter, new moon or a, a lunar eclipse, and then back to another full moon again. And then it's kind of meant to be like a comet. And also our thing does that. Jason's gonna vacuum. Okay, let me pull you guys back so you can see more of the living room. Ah, enjoy that ceiling, punks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where I got that TV stand. I don't remember if we got it from Amazon or Menards. Menards. Yeah. Okay, so we got that from Menards. Yeah, that's right, because we went over specifically to get that. I went over specifically yeah. to get that. Yeah. And we Sweet just thing. had to, like, hope and pray that it fit in my car. <laughs> Thank you, Sydney. Thank you. And then the living room should be done. Emily can get her piles later. And while you're vacuuming, I would just carefully put all the stuff on the floor just up on the couch. Like that big concrete thing she's painting. That is really heavy though, so be careful. That's the reason it's still there, because I can barely move it. Okay. Actually, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get that in the art room at some point. But I would just... But you can leave it in there for now, or move it elsewhere, but... Not the no. Yeah, just put it on the couch for right now, and then we'll put it back where it's at when you're done. Sorry. Was this the old or the, the current one? I have no idea. I think it's the current. Uh, Joanna, I do buy Mr. Clean in bulk. I buy the one gallon jugs of just straight Mr. Clean. And now I gotta find the vacuum. It's right there. There's another one in the art room. What's that one? Is that one's that the Dyson? Uh, it's like the blue. Purple. Yeah, that's just the old one. It still works. It just smells weird when you use it.
Was it really, Lena? That's that's really funny. I haven't done it today, so spoilers, but. He said the wordle today was filth. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done wordle in a long time, but I love those. That's super cool. This actually shouldn't be too awful because I just back in like a few days ago. And then the only other thing would be, since a, a quick way to get around having to move stuff would be to go ahead and pull the hose and just by hand get around the laptop and the bags and stuff. Because I'm not really concerned about moving all that stuff, but I am concerned with the dog hair along the walls. Okay. Sander, I will never get tired of making that joke. It's like the daddest of all dad jokes. Okay, now... This is cat fur, but most of it's dog fur. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. You can tell in the the vacuum canister thing. Oh, yeah. For a long time before we had Dakota, any kind of Mac would vacuum or I would vacuum, it would be like purple or red because <laughs> of my hair. Oh. <laughs> up Dakota did you take that new stuff out of your toy box that's probably an extra one oh. okay so yeah same thing in here you'll have to get find out from Emily what she wants you to do with this box this stuff is going to stay here right yes okay so this stuff will stay and just vacuum around it okay most of this is also done so the only thing after this little section will be the bathroom and then the downstairs and the vacuuming of stairs and crap like that. Okay. Dakota's a piece of crap is what she is. Hey, Dakota. 
Yeah. I was thinking about like this is the side of a small TV. <laughs> yeah, they uh, dyed the end of her tail purple as a surprise, and we had her groomed. I don't use Tilex. I basically, there's three main cleaners I use to clean a house, maybe four. Uh, Mr. Clean, my homemade APC, the alcohol one, toilet cleaner, and barkeeper's friend can pretty much do a whole house. If we were doing this in a regular house, like a paying customer, all this stuff would be moved and we would vacuum under it. But since this is just my house, I'm just having him vacuum around stuff. residual hair on the chair right there like Ric Flair. <laughs>
Frankie's been sleeping on that since that jacket's been up there. He likes the jacket. And for those who are wondering, that is a lily brush. And those are extremely good at getting pet hair off of stuff. Would not recommend on velvet, though. Or might be a mile at least. <laughs> um, let's show them the dump of hair because people always love that because people are weird, man. <laughs> Okay, we're going to show you the hair dump. This was just those floors that you just saw. We dumped this before he started vacuuming. And I vacuumed in here Wednesday or Thursday last week. Yeah, so this is all hair. Yeah, so that's only a couple days worth of hair. Yeah, so this is all hair. And then I vacuumed in here Thursday last week. Yeah, so that's only a couple days worth of hair. That is a Hoover Power Drive Swivel XL vacuum, and it is very, very good at picking up pet hair. Okay, so since those are done, I would put this in the pile of other boxes in the garage. Throw this away. Emily's. He's almost done. We just need to vacuum the stairwells. Since you've already got that plugged in, what I would do is take that sheet and that kitty litter downstairs. The litter will go in the laundry room. Then I would just go ahead and take the hose off of the vacuum and get the stairwell coming down. Okay. And then uh, keep it plugged in and then get the stairwell where Emily's at and then that upstairs hallway. And then you'll know vacuum's done. Get this over here. I'm gonna make all these people motion sick. Get out of my way. There we go. Sorry for all the motion. That's fine. Go in there and make them. And then all the clothes can go in the laundry room too. There we go. What time does Lydia get back from school? Uh, 4.30. Oh. And she'll be heading over. Okay, you're set up to do the stairs real quick and then we'll leave it plugged in. You can do these stairs and then that hallway and then we'll be done with vacuuming except for downstairs. Or if you wanted to do the opposite, so that you can go from here all the way down and then leave that vacuum down there so we can vacuum it later. That would work too. All right, I'm gonna move you all again and get a light on. I mainly wanna show the stairs though. Trying to figure out where my microphone is on this. Hey, Emily. Yep. Can you do me a favor and unplug the dot for a second? Hey, Jay. Jay, kill that for a second. Is our dot unplugged? Alexa, play All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Okay, go ahead and plug it back in now. Okay, go ahead and do your thing.
Okay, yeah, you can just leave that down there. Also, thank you because that was a massive amount of hair. Yeah, I saw the tank at like about the same. The yeah. In fact, I want to toss this down to you because we'll need it down there. Well, actually, wait. I'll, we'll do a quick round on the bathroom and get the trash taken out of there because that one basically just needs the mirror done, toilet quick ring around. Um, I'm not gonna worry about like scrubbing the bathtub and crap like that. Oh, okay. I'm mainly concerned with floors on every level. But after you change the trash out of the bathroom, then we'll uh, take that downstairs. Did you get that already? I got the bathroom trash earlier. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice. So one's okay. the bottom one I need. So that can just go downstairs. Sweet. Eat it. <laughs> okay, uh, quick break before you tackle that. Um, and then I'll turn them around. Get my phone plugged in. Beans. <laughs> Sorry for the camera quake again. What, Bob? Can you grab my tea, please? There's one here, and then there was one by the... Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the one that was by the TV stand. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, let me flip everything around. All right, beans. Get set on. Oh. He just doesn't even care. Nope. I don't think he has like pain sensors in him. What's yeah, that? Oh. those candies. Yeah. If you don't want them, you can toss them. I just thought they were straight watermelon. Oh no, I'll, uh, I'll give them to Lydia. She's actually quite sour. Sweet. Not sweet. What do you want? You want to come up? Jason's gonna sit over there. Yeah, I'm so over carpet. Yeah, this crap is getting pulled out. We've already decided uh, at the beginning of next year, like after taxes and stuff are all paid up, then. All this carpet is going. Some rooms will probably be hardwood. Other rooms I want tile, sort of like that marble tile. Um, that doesn't, not the tile that's like, goes flat and then has a lip on it, and then grout, then another lip. I want the ones that are kind of smooth all the way across. All right, beans. <laughs> Here, go on, Jason. There you go. <laughs> I'm more out just from standing. I haven't even done anything. I've just stood. <laughs> For those of you who are just entering and haven't heard earlier, there's going to be a collaboration with Clean with Barbie and A Beautiful Mess. And um, Insider is coming to film and interview me while we, while we do it. And it's a major hoarding house. It is a six bedroom house and it is uh, she says she hasn't been able to enter her basement in over three years and so it should be a pretty damn good video beans tail beans tail it is not a free cleaning <laughs> I am getting paid for this one <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself comfortable, Beans. Beans would do this if, like, somebody was breaking into our house. He would just, like, curl up on them. <laughs> oh, uh, which bags? There's a trash bag that's going to be thrown away, and then Emily's got some totes that are going to be put away.
Sneak vape. <laughs> Yeah, I've actually got a call with Insider tomorrow just to make sure that everything is up to snuff and to make sure that um, they don't claim any exclusivity rights or anything like that. Because if they do that, then I won't I won't have them down. But um, I just want to make sure that everything is up to par on both ends. Bean. That's surprising. Yeah. John Cena is returning to WWE next month. Hmm. Is he, do you, I know I'm not asking for specifics, but do you think it's under the legendary one still? So he comes like every now and then? Or you think Probably, he's gonna be back? yeah. He's been selling so much stuff. Sorry, guys. <laughs> he's purring so hard right now. He's headbutting my wrist. <laughs> No, I'm not going to New York. They're all coming down here. So what we're doing is I told them if they can get here, I'll pay for everything else. So we're going to take care of hotel for four days. Uh, we'll be taking care of food, cleaning supplies, and all that. They just have to get down here. As far as I know, Barbie does what I would do in that situation with a bunch of roaches and stuff. You just clean and ignore them and know that they'll scatter back to their nest. And then once you get the food and stuff taken care of, uh, you eliminate their food supply, which makes them naturally thin out. And the more you pick up the clutter, it eliminates their hiding spaces, which also makes them thin out. Then I was contacted by an exterminator who said that's the way they would prefer it too. Because if you eliminate their food supply, then they'll take the bait that they put out because they're not eating actual food, they're going for the bait instead. And that's what kills them. We grilled burgers, hot dogs, brats, and pinwheels. Two hundred and fifty eight so far on your subscriber count. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Started at sixty, right? I don't I think I had three and then You had three? Oh yeah. my gosh. When I got the first email that somebody subscribed today, it said, let me see if I can find it. It says, like, you now have three subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on your new achievement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll put a link to it in the uh, community section, too, after we're done with the stream, and that should take her over a 1,000. What are you huffing about, Dakota? You better shut your dog beak, son. Girl, son. Girl, son. <laughs> I need to figure out what I want for dinner tonight, too. I've eaten nothing but hot dogs and brats <laughs> for three solid days. It's time for me to eat something regular. That's part of the reason I was asking if you want. I mean, to go to the store or not. We still have leftovers to get through. <laughs> First video, how to pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> Least favorite thing to clean would be bathrooms just because it's not because they're dirty or gross. It's because there's a lot of getting up and getting down for bathrooms. And there's a lot of things to clean around. So I just don't like cleaning them. They wear my back out. I had the same reason for windows and mirrors. Just there's so many of them in some houses that I do. Yeah. Hey, Beans, you better shut up. <laughs> you better shut your face. And your chin. Chin, chin, chin. Hello, Mia.
beans is uh I don't know between like four and five, three and four, four and five, one and two. He was feral. Um, the boys are two, just over two years, and Dakota is um, she was three or four when we got her in two thousand seventeen. They weren't sure, so. So she's 10 or 9 or 10. Stretch cat. Oh. <laughs> Beans for dinner. That's part of the reason we named him that. <laughs> His name is an inside joke about dinner. Be Beans for dinner. Oh. Yeah, still haven't been able to figure out how to get a hold of Valvolades. He's very difficult. I guess I could get a hold of Lawn Care Juggernaut. He knows blades. I could have him pass a message along, which would be funny. Getting a hold of a much larger streamer in order to contact a smaller streamer. <laughs> a smaller streamer. He just hit a million subscribers, so like that's small in, oh, yeah. <laughs> in comparison to Lawn Care Juggernaut. Is that the one who the boring channel was his other channel? Yeah. Oh, okay, I couldn't remember because we I watched the boring channel. Cole, thank you for the voice compliment. I'm actually running that through a filter right now, so if I end up turning that off, then I sound like this most of the time. And whenever I turn the filter back on, then it sounds like that. <laughs> it's kind of a they call it a low end filter, a low end bass boost. <laughs> Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Good dog. There's Thug. Thug. Pull this up. How was it? It was good, but I have to go back now. Do you? What for? And all I left my shoes again. Oh my god. It's a shoes off house, and we got the top. His the he was home. And we started talking, and I thought I had everything. I even checked my car, <laughs> but I didn't check my feet. Hello. My dogs are out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dakota. Oh. Quit. Oh, my God. <sighs> she just walked right over the cord because she's an idiot. Idiot. Thug in the house. Beans just took over. Yeah, he's been sitting in my lap and he's like the water cat. I like that you still have your gloves on. Yeah, I was vacuuming and I figured that next time we'll clean up and we'll have to change up gloves. Yeah, he's going to the bathroom next. So. Do you have a tablet yes. that I can use for like a week or so? You can use it for however long okay. you want. I have like the two. I have the one he gave me for Christmas, which has a spring on it, mm -hmm. if you prefer that one. And then I also have my really old one that was like from me from it? Jason, yeah. which I don't know how that thing is still alive. Yeah, that thing was like <laughs> when I was living here for that little bit. Yeah, she just got back from a house cleaning. It's stupid hot out. Who is Doug? <laughs> oh, Frank. What's up, Frank? Frank must be vaping. There's a big cloud going that way. <laughs> you idiot. You do this every time. It's just so aggressive in how much he wants love. I'm really aggressive with how much I love, so it works. <laughs> Their house was so cold, though. Every time I step out and it was super hot, go in and just immediate. It's yeah. like walking into a freezer. Oh, man. I got three quotes to do on Thursday. That's what you were now. saying. Am I am I going with or do I have a house out there? Uh, I'll have to look. I don't remember. I think you've all got houses that I think day. So as well, I just haven't looked. Beans, <laughs> thank you. He's headbutting me because I won't pet him. <laughs> Not all the cats <laughs> came by. I know. I see you. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, cats really seem to like me. <laughs> He headbutts when he wants to be petted. He'll even headbutt the dog. He was doing that last night. Kid Papa John is not home. 
Julie, I'm not sure what you're asking me there. What do you recommend using to keep a clean between uses? I think you may have left a word out there. Oh, like keep it clean, like your house? Oh, if you mean keep your house clean between cleanings, just a daily routine of uh, vacuuming and sweeping, and then just making sure the clutter's put away. He's laying only on my foot. Dishes are the big thing. Oh, a mop clean between uses. You can put a little bit of bleach and water in a bucket and soak your mop in that. And then uh, after like an hour, it doesn't even take that long, but after like an hour, then I pull that out, wring it out, and then let it air dry in a garage or something. They're all piling onto my foot. Need to pull it out. <laughs> Animal pile. Frank, you're gonna fall. <laughs> oh. Dusty has his face in the basket. <laughs> what is he doing? He's now down to the toys that haven't been accessible in a long time, so he's probably eaten some bug or a feather or something in there. Oh yeah, he's got a feather toy. He almost picked it out. Yes, spin mop heads can be washed in a washing machine. In fact, they're actually designed to be. Okay, let's go ahead and knock out the bathroom real quick. And then that way the only thing you got left is downstairs. Sweet. Oh, I want to bring you guys up there. Yeah, I've got a merch design yeah. that I want to do, but I don't think I can find a font that'll work. Oops. Let me get you guys I'll flip you around. And I need to get like a outlet up here. Oh, I actually I think I got one underneath that. I apologize for the camera thing. I've still got you guys on a tripod and I don't want to take it off. Have you thought about a portable charger too? Just in case there is a house without power? Yeah. Um, Emily's got a battery back up here somewhere and I can order some more. Okay, I'm bringing you guys in here. Basically, all he's going to do in here is, uh, God damn, that's bright, is the mirror and the sink area. Straighten it up a little bit. I don't care about much of the rest of this stuff. And then he'll probably do the floors here in a bit, too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, if you could just get the counter um, uncluttered, the mirror and the sink and counter area done, and then the toilet cleaned real quick. I think this is fine as long as it's straightened up and non chaos -y. Okay. Well, you guys are watching Jason. I'm going to step away for a few to collect my brain um, so I don't go into overload. And then I'll be right back.
spring moment. Well, the biggest thing about cleaning the sink is that's where I poop. <laughs> that's why they call me Sink Crap and Johnny back in Milwaukee. <laughs> Normally, you need a shovel to get it out of there, but. I did before I got here. Well, I've been eating a lot of vegetables this week, so. <laughs> Yeah, we got moon phases all over the house. We're moon people. <laughs> moon. toilets too. Rather obnoxious. <laughs> Oh man, that looks way better. Thank you. I need to sink three times to get this hair out. <laughs> yeah. Emily keeps shaving in there, and I keep telling her to clean your hair up when you shave, and she's like, F you. And then spits on me, and I'm like, Phew. I don't do that. <laughs> I about needed to mow my sink. While you're cleaning the toilet, I will pull them out of the bathroom. Okay. And go talk to them in here. Then the only thing left is downstairs. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in here for a few. I'll flip the camera around in a second. you guys up to my level. Ah, there we go. Okay, one sec, I gotta grab my vape and my tea.
Yeah, if you guys ever start, if anybody ever starts a cleaning business and um, you get employees, it's nice um, because if you ever have a cancellation or a day where it is um, slow or you just got a hole in your schedule, you can use your employees to clean your house and it becomes a part of the business because I, I pay my employees whether they get a house or not. So if like on Wednesday, there's only one house, but three employees, all three employees will still get a salary. And so Jason's getting paid for this. It's not just a free cleanup. Um, the only thing is if he's cleaning my house instead of a regular client's house, I do ask a little bit more. So what I do is I take this part of my elbow and I jam it into his neck. Like you kind of spin your shoulder when you do it kind of a, and that's the extra that he gets, that he pays me for doing my house. Are you wanting me to clean the uh, downstairs bathroom too, or just leave? Okay. The downstairs bathroom mainly needs the toilet sink. Yeah, the toilet sink mirror it does need vacuum back because it's got a lot of kitty litter that's been kicked out. Okay. I was only asking because I didn't know if I wanted to use the same rag or do Oh, yeah. It shouldn't be bad. That one should be fairly easy to clean up. Later, Amy. Now that is a print that's done by a very specific artist and I can't remember whose it is, but Emily's got a few of them. Oh, that's, that's the International Space Station? Yeah. That is, uh, his name is Monkey Minion. Um, I think he's on Twitter still. Um, and he is great. We met him at C2E2 in Chicago. Now, cats generally, like, they don't get on counters or anything. They just lay wherever. It's fine. Remember if it's Minion Monkey or Monkey Minion. You're welcome. These two, hold on, do it backwards. That and that one are alcohol ink and then you set it on fire. That's a really fun craft. Yeah, this pothos plant is giant. It's so cool. The leaves are like, hold on. I guess I can't really get to them. They're like the size of my face. Mac thinks he's all slick sneak vaping. <laughs> Yep, Monkey Minion Press. That is correct, Carrie Berry. Oh, these are, they're not markers, they're just drops. And you put it with like isopropyl alcohol. They kind of mix together and do like watercolor cool thing. And then you set it on fire. Like literally you set it on fire. It's awesome. Um, we've got Pothos, Wandering Dude, um, I can't remember what some of those other plants are. A bunch One of moss. One of them is, those are Arrowhead. Uh, Arrowhead? What's the ivy? That is English ivy, I think. English ivy. And there's a couple different types of ivy. I need to actually trim it up and kind of move things around because I've got an ivy in there that's not even alive anymore. Well, partially dead. Zombert, we've been going since about noon, so a little over three hours.
We had a, was it a Tetra in there that we put in there disappeared? We had mollies in there, um, and then they died off, and then we had guppies in there. Um, Those are the guppies, yeah. Yeah. We had a, Mac put a guppy in there because she was pregnant, and just to see if it would be okay, and um, it vanished for like six months. We didn't, we just thought it died or something, and then it came back out, so, because it's like part water and then part dirt, so it had, it had found its way back. <laughs> But yeah, we actually had minnows in our big pond downstairs for a while. They got like that long. I never watched the live feed, um, but I am interested in stuff like that. God, this looks so much better already. <laughs> Do you have a pet peeve about cleaning? Um, I'm the pet peeve. <laughs> only if people are nitpicky on ridiculous things like human errors so like if you've got a chair that has like here's the seat of the chair here's the legs and it's got like a cross member that goes there and if you leave a tiny little triangle of dirt um, if somebody gets to where they're pointing out stuff like that i will get rid of the client because it's one thing to be like hey you missed this tiny spot and then we'll take care of it or we'll make sure we don't do that again it's another thing to go actively hunting for the smallest, tiniest quarter inch spots that were missed. That's not what we do and, and we won't ever be that that crazy picky. We uh, tried betta fish once or twice and it was like it's the only fish that we had issues keeping alive. But we also had them in a 10 gallon tank so um, the e the bigger the tanks are, the easier they are to take care of. Mac had this really amazing, it was 125 gallon, and he did all the live planting, and he made this sculpture of driftwood that came up out of the tank, and we had plants growing up out of the tank. Yes, uh, we haven't caught up a serpa in a while, but we are big fans of serpa. Um... But he had a bunch of different types of tetras in it and a bunch of different types. Or we had, it was like a hundred neons and then we had multiple types of shrimp. We had like red shrimp and blue shrimp and all sorts of different color shrimp. And then Christmas, is it Christmas or Thanksgiving? It was Christmas. Christmas. We were about half an hour away from everybody getting here and we heard a tink and then a psh where it sounded like there was a cat or dog peeing somewhere on the carpet. And I turn around and there's just water shooting from the tank. So uh, yeah, we had to immediately fix that. And then the turkey that we were gonna make ended up being rotten. So that was a very interesting Christmas. <laughs> you wanna check that bathroom real quick? Yeah. Um, the first drawing that I ever got from Mac was before we lived together and I can maybe pull it up on my phone it's when I was still living in Minneapolis and he was here um, but he drew one of my profile pictures give me a sec I know where it is This is the first one he drew for me, and it was based off of my profile picture, so I was really happy about that. Do you remember that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Colin, uh, we're doing our house right now, or I should say Jason's doing our house right now. Yeah, the, the, we opened up the raw turkey, and it was green. It was no bueno. That would match your your hat or your rainbow shirt. Oh shoot, I forgot to put on my rainbow shirt. I'm gonna go put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye Mariel, thank you. Susie, we're just doing Q and A stuff. 
I've wanted to dye hair as Mac or Max hair quite a few different times, but I do the same thing. <laughs> what dye your hair? Dye my hair or do my hair in different ways? Yeah. Uh, man, I don't know what my favorite Christmas film is. Do you have a favorite Christmas film? Die Hard. Jason's is Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Actually, um, for the nostalgia, uh, mom, my mom and I always used to watch um, the Nutcracker. So I like the Nutcracker. That looks awesome. You got to, oh, where'd your hat go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Christmas Vacation is pretty good. I think that one's my go too. Mom used to put it on every year. <laughs> tilt it down. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you look like, like a like Michael Jackson dance here in a second too. He got that shirt from a store called Ragstock. <laughs> Sophia said you should wear this when you're meeting new clients. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to take my mom to go see Nutcracker live. Um, she actually, one of the things that we've talked about quite a few times is um, uh, going to see the Trans Siberian Orchestra. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that tilt it down a little bit. <laughs> he can. If you want him to do magic tricks, he could do that's that's the guy to get magic tricks from. I actually hadn't seen a Christmas story until Mac and I got together. I had never seen the movie. I I kind of don't get it. <laughs> I get the movie, but I don't get the whole. No, I was with him. We went together. And actually the hat is mine. I made it. I made the, I painted the hat. And my vape matches it too. Yeah. Midwest Magic Magic, <laughs> making the dust disappear. Is that Pimp Johnny from Milwaukee? It's basically. Mac doesn't need platforms, you guys. Don't encourage him. Yeah, I'm actually leaning down a little bit now. Yeah. If I stand, like, straight up. <laughs> I bought I bought the hat, but I painted the rim and I painted the rainbow, um, and I'm gonna paint the moon phases on the underside. Thank you. I am five five. I forgot about. It. I'm gonna get you. Some. I don't know. Um, it just wasn't like it wasn't a staple in my family. I think Home Alone was that for us. Thanks, Rebecca. You guys are so Actually worked for Macaulay Culkin for about a year. He's very interesting. He's probably I've met a fair amount of famous people, and he's the nicest one I've ever met. That outfit looks way too good.
Oh, the dishes have done been spin kicked. I uh, actually don't know if I, I don't really care. It doesn't matter anymore. He's not paying me. I wrote his social media. I wrote his Twitter account for like all of 2019. I did social, I also did social media for his website, Bunny Ears, which was, uh, like, comedy for comedians. Yeah, Succession's awesome. Ragstock. I think some of their stuff is available online. It's R-A-G-S-T-O-C-K. Um, I used to shop at one in Minneapolis all the time when I was a kid. I've been very fortunate in my life. <laughs> uh, I started working uh, for online comedians and um, just kind of got to like meet people through that, through the, like the industry. I'm going to have to charge that up. I know. It's like, that. Sh he looks so good in that shirt. Favorite Halloween movies? Um, I, okay. I just saw a Rocky Horror Picture Show for the first time last Halloween, and that, that was perfect. Um, somebody asked if you, how many concussions you had from getting into cars since you're so tall. <laughs> it's probably been a lot. Bye, Lonnie. Blueberry. Yeah, I don't know why I'd never seen it before. I got to see it, like, live. I mean, we were at a big um, auditorium. And it was uh, one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. It was so fun. Hi, Helene. Would, would you guys really consider Edward Scissorhands to be a, a Halloween movie? I don't know if I would. <laughs> she thought you were named Rihanna. <laughs> I'm 30, I'll be 35, 34. Yeah, the audience is fun. I like Nightmare Before Christmas too. What's your favorite video game? Probably Final Fantasy 3. Octopath Traveler 2 is really, really good, though. I would have to say City Skylines. Maybe RimWorld, as far as like how often and how enjoyable I find them. How often I play. I think, I'm not sure. Actually, it might have been somebody from TikTok, so I don't know if there's a crossover, but... I think somebody from you guys uh, found me on PlayStation. Because <laughs> after I was doing that TikTok live, I got a friend request from somebody on PlayStation like, <laughs> immediately. I'm, I think I'm at like 16 to 1700 hours in that, Sarah. I used to be exclusively console or uh, PC, but I got a shoulder injury and I can't play PC anymore. My shoulders lock up. It's not just that they lock up, it feels like they're on fire. Like somebody's injected acid into my shoulders. Oh my friends, the writer. We're gonna have that song stuck in our heads forever. Someone said it was a Valentine's movie, Edward Scissorhands. P.S. I've got both. But I like the uh, PlayStation better. It just seems to have better games. Better exclusives. 
Um, I don't know. Uh, Mac has never been to New York. I, New York City would not be good for Mac. Mac would not be good for New York City. I would, I stayed with a friend who lived in Brooklyn, um, right across from Prospect Park when she lived there. But I haven't been back since before the pandemic, so... Try not to get my dumb finger in there. You can bionic arm so you can get back into PC gaming. Yeah, fortunately, Baldur's Gate 3 is coming out on PS5 on September 6th. So I'll be playing that. Yep, we both like Monty Python. I have not been to LA. He's been to LA. Back when he could handle cities. I don't know, did you have... Was it uncomfortable while you were? I was uncomfortable, but I just masked it with booze. <laughs> I'm on vacuuming now, man. Sweet! Oh, yeah. My friend lived off of Park Slope. Um, uh, by Terrace, ba Terrace Bagels was a couple blocks away. I used to walk there for breakfast when I was over there. Yeah, I can do about seven to ten days in New York, and then I'm like, God, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, you, oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you can actually, because that's sent in. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mac looks like he's been to L.A. <laughs> <laughs> you ever cleaned a home with no electricity and no hot water? Yes, and it sucked, and yeah. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> it was a, a house that was uh, had everything shut off. Um, that was a basically almost like it was abandoned. That same house I almost threw up in. Yeah. yeah. It was the pet hoarder house. Yeah, it is fun to visit, but I couldn't live there. But people were so much nicer than I expected them to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're like alternative modern gothic. <laughs> um, not for animal neglect. Matt got close on animal or adult protective services but unfortunately they had family in town and he was able to communicate with the family about how bad the situation was yeah that pimp hat is great it looks so much better on him than it's ever gonna look on me <laughs> october Jason's almost done. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were going for. Somebody had mentioned it. Adrian said she's got her shoes back. <laughs> no, I don't work with a psychiatrist with the people I help, but I tell them that they need to reach out to a therapist. He gave him a good steamroller in a little bit ago. <laughs> yeah, we we're big uh, Reno 911 Kids in the Hall fans. Yep, yeah, he's almost finished up. Oh, they'll definitely still be coming. 
I'm going to shut this down here in just a bit. We've been going for closing on four hours here in just a little bit. I've watched pretty much every hoarders out there. In fact, I'm not even going to say pretty much. I've seen all of them. How we shouldn't go out to eat like that. <laughs> I can put my Aaron Stravaganza dress on. Nah, she works at a different job. She's going to cosmetology school, too. I think it's cosmetology. Yeah. Uh, we do clean for a couple people who hoard antiques. Those are really hard to clean because you have to take care with what you use on them. And some antiques you can oil with Old English and some you can't. Uh, right now it's a little past 3.30. Thanks, Jen. Glad you had a good time. <laughs> Horrors can be funny occasionally. Matt Paxton's generally got a pretty good sense of humor, but he will also, like, when it's time to get to work, he will get to work. Yeah, and he typically doesn't put up with the excuses that a lot of hoarders make. Most hoarders make excuses. I've only ran into one or two of them that haven't who really owned it. But most of them will be like, yeah, this place was spotless, and then my kids destroyed it. And it's like, no. it's. I mean, you're talking to a professional housekeeper. I can tell how old this stuff is. Like... That this isn't my first rodeo. I can go into a house and find, and within minutes, figure out how old the actual dirt is. What's up, Dakota? <laughs> Rufus. Uh, I don't knit, I crochet, but yeah, I'm going to, so what I was planning on doing um, is putting a couple like hour long videos of crocheting up until I can start doing lives because you need to have a thousand before you can do that. Um, so I was just going to do some crochet, uh, what I'm working on now, and then just kind of talk. <laughs> and see how that goes I don't know I really like uh, I really like participating in the lives because it's fun to just talk with people I didn't realize how much I was gonna enjoy that um, so yeah that's kind of my goal for the other channel is to just have a place to sit and talk and um, while I craft and I've got one of the main things is I'm gonna have to find some like usage free music um, to listen to. <laughs> so you should listen to the Skyrim music. That one's pretty loyalty free. I know there's a lot of um like lo fi stuff out there because that's what I would do when I was streaming on Twitch. Oh yeah. Yeah that's something I'll be doing online is eight hours of Skyrim ambience. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah the ambience one I've done a few of the a few of those too. Oh yeah. I so my plan is instead of doing specific stitches, like I might do a couple of shorts that are just the stitches um, in case people want, you know, just go are Googling like how do I do a half double crochet or whatever. Um, but I'm planning on just doing what I'm working on now and showing how to do whatever I'm doing at the moment. So like the, um, no, you can't go outside yet. The, um, the cat couch that I'm working on right now is just every other is a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and then when you flip it, you're double crocheting on the under chain single crochet, and that, so. I haven't been to that on Prospect Park. 
Um, I try not to visit shopping places when I'm traveling because I don't like flying back a bunch of crap. <laughs> Yeah, I learned how to do a lot of my stitches from YouTube videos. No, he changed. He changed back to his Oh Look More Dishes outfit. That other shirt is a little huggy, and it's, uh, it's like silk, but it's surprisingly not a very cool silk. It's like hot. That hat's super hot, too. Yeah. I'm also not an expert by any means. Like I just made my mom a sweater and then I washed it and ruined it. So uh, like this is gonna be a learning journey for all of us. Mac beatboxing ambient techno music on my channel. I haven't been, I haven't done, I haven't tried a magic circle. The concept seems cool. Yeah, that's my Oh Look More Dishes shirt. Oh, we're both wearing merch shirts. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I have to have ooh, crochet while I'm like watching TV or something. I have to like have something to do with my hands. Yeah, you bet. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> you got my sweet new shoes, too. I didn't realize the soles are also yeah. blue. Dakota's standing here with us like she's supposed to be. She's in the stream. <laughs> yeah, she thinks she's streaming. <laughs> I have a diamond painting that I'm also working on in bits and pieces. I have dropped my beads. I've spilt my whole container of all the beads twice. So I'm frustrated. <laughs> Give me one second. Oh my friend, the blue rider. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Dakota had a team built shirt. <laughs> Just wore that around. Yeah, I specifically bought the shoes because they match a pair of pants that I just bought. It's uh, regular jeans, but it's got that collar stitching on it, like bright blue stitching. So the side closest to me is done, and the side closest to Mac is not done. But I legitimately had to buy a second box of this because I spilled my beads so many times I'm out of, I was out of beads. No, you took a really long bay pit. <laughs> All right. More dots. More dots. More dots. Sweet. That looks really good, Jay. Thank you. No problem. That probably won't fit in your trash can. But... It was just from downstairs. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go beside it. Do you oh, want okay. me to flip it around? Yeah, I might as well. Thanks, Julie. That is from Minion Monkey Press. Have a good one, Allie. Yeah, we're getting ready to shut down too. Um, we had 
but almost an hour and a half on the first stream. Then the stream crashed because of YouTube. And then we've got two and a half hours on this one. <clears throat> so we're edging up on four hours worth of streaming. It looks great in here. Thank you. Oh, okay, we're going to go. And then um, I will probably get bored later and jump on TikTok Live at some point. <laughs> so... All right, we'll see you guys next Monday. We're going to do this every Monday. Not necessarily a cleaning one, but most of the time it'll be just us sitting on the couch to where you can actually see all of us in the same shot. And we answer a lot of questions and tell stories and just hang out and be goofy. So, For those who weren't here to hear it earlier, there is going to be a collaboration between myself, Clean with Barbie, and um, a beautiful mess. And that's going to happen in early October, the first week of October. We're all going to go um, here in Illinois, about two hours away from me, and then we're going to spend about four days there, and then we will all have videos out of that, so it should be pretty fun. Alrighty, thanks everybody for coming in. We'll see you next Monday.